Hello everyone, and today I will be talking about all the ways of spelling anemone reasonably. So I'll go over what I mean very shortly, but first I'll spell the word anemone just so that everyone has a point of reference. Alright, so the places where people misspell are usually N, M, and this second N. So there are three places. But anyway, I think I should explain what an anemone is. So it's like this sponge looking thing at the bottom of the ocean. It kind of looks like a plant, but it's actually an animal. Anyway, it has this weird name. You might have heard it in like Finding Nemo or something. But anyway, anemone, they are three places where people misspell and they usually misplace like an M or an N or maybe like they make all of them N's or all of them M's. It doesn't matter. But we're going to use permutations to figure out how we can find the probability that someone spells it correctly out of all the ways they could get it wrong. Alright, so there's two possible letters here. It could be M or N times 2, M or N times 2 equals 8. So the reason why it's times and not plus or divide or subtract is because these are independent events. So like we're not going to add them together. We're just going to multiply them. And we get 8 possible permutations. I won't list them out because it's going to take a while. So now that we know that there's eight possible choices, we want to know what's the chance that someone will get it right, assuming that they pick M or N for each of these places um, randomly. So, well, there's only one way of picking it right. So one divided by the total number eight is... 12.5%. So it's like 0 0.125, but we can make that into percents easily. And you might want to memorize that um, 1 over 8 is just 12.5%. Um, but yeah, that's a chance that someone spells the word correctly, which is pretty low actually. Assuming that maybe like they haven't spelled the word in a long time and um, they're just picking randomly between the M's and the N's in their memory. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys learned something new, either about anemones, anemones I mean. <laughs> okay, so I misspoke there. Um, so you can see it's kind of strange. But anyway, uh, yeah, I hope you guys learned something new about probabilities or permutations. Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time.